Yeah, I do, man. I uh, I remember the first time I got to ride uh, the Star Race in Yamaha when I was 250 rider. You know, went from the uh, slip-on pipes, maybe a head here and there, and maybe some revalve stock suspension to factory stuff, and I thought I was uh, I thought I made it. Um, but no, it was. I think it was right after my last race at Loretta's maybe, or Texas, one of those, when I was amateur, and then I was going to go race nationals, and they put me on that uh, thing, and I was just a little guy, and I was like, holy sh this thing is uh, a rocket ship, and just from a coolness side, it was cool to always see, you know, the anodized parts, just the titanium, all that kind of stuff was pretty cool when, when you're uh, young kids, so yeah, you get to, to ride it every day now, which is great, but it is cool when you look back. I think the very first, I think the most recent feeling is probably riding that. I rode a stock 450 Honda before I hopped on the 450. Going from that to the factory one was a very big jump because the, fact, the stock one was so aggressive and fast that the, our factory one's actually a lot more tamed down, a lot smoother than that stuff. And I, yeah, I remember that feeling because it was a lot easier to ride. I went from squeezing on for dear hell uh, to actually being able to ride the bike calmly. So yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I remember my first like pro test day, pro bike, and uh, it was at Zaka Station, and I, I went out there. I did like two, three laps, and I'm like, "Hey, you know, my my front my front feels like it's like pushing in the turns. Like, I don't know. It, I mean, it might just be me, but like, and they like, oh no, it's fine. I go out ride for more. I'm like, ah, I don't know. It feels like weird." There was 60 pounds of pressure in the tires, and it was just yeah. And I was like, man, this suspension's stiff. <laughs> but uh, they are in the front tire, I think, because it was like a rear moose tire. But my mechanic thought it was a front and rear moose tire, so he didn't check the pressure. Anyways, so it's just that was uh, that was my first experience. And by the end of that day, we got the bike dialed, and I was going fast. And uh, yeah, it's history. But. Yeah, it'd be fun one of these days, like the old days, the box fan days, hit the road. Uh, I'm gonna go with my boy AP. You know, we've been teammates a lot and he's one of my good friends. So we'd have a hell of a time and um, I'm sure we'd be laughing the whole way, that's for sure. Uh, I'd pick my best mate, uh, Aiden Shive. That's who I'd pick to come with me. But Sally's on 2D, so it's only like half of the rounds, but this still count. <laughs> Jeez, co driver slash teammate for the summer out of the paddock. I mean, I feel like Barsha would be a lot of fun because he's just a loose unit. But, um, and I feel like that guy could probably drive. Like, honestly, he could probably drive through the night like nobody's business. Um, so I guess, I guess I'll go Barsha. Ah, I think for me, you know, it's, it seems like it's a going trend, but maybe a coach or something like that. I feel like I have a lot of knowledge and um, when it comes to racecraft especially, and I feel like I could help help on that side. I mean, that's probably the, the common answer. Um, but unfortunately, mechanically, I have zero skills. I can put gas in the bike, that's about it. So I wouldn't be much help there. So I think from a, a riding coach standpoint, it's probably the only thing I'd be good at. <laughs> I, think, I think I'd be a trainer. You know, I love I just love yelling at kids. I feel like you'd get a very good amusement out of it, yelling at your kid, <laughs> yelling at your kid to go faster and do do more laps. I remember I always on the I'm always on the other end, so I'm always getting told to do more laps or something. I'm like, oh. so, uh, but yeah, I'd probably be a trainer, I would say. Ooh, you know what? Um, if I had to work in the motorcycle motorcycle industry, but not maybe the track building because I grew up with a shovel in my hand, and this is like the adult version of having a shovel in your hand, you know building bike jumps it's just like another level so I always thought that was pretty sick and yeah, I'm, you know sit those machines is brutal long days but uh, looks like fun so maybe that